Hello everyone, white man from town here. Oh, how am I standing like- And welcome back to some more Roblox toilet- No, wait, what? This banner ain't the- Yeah, I got Santa. And DJ Frostman, who cares? Uh, right. This here is KFC Eater. First new has commented on one of my previous videos and ended up finding me in the game. They've also been generous enough to gift me quite a few crates. Uh, not those ones though. They were freebies. Titan Cinema Man. Is that the boy? It is. Alright, so, as you can see, unfortunately my daily upload streak was broken. It was bound to happen. But in that time, when I didn't upload any videos, I had time <laughs> to grind quite a bit. So as you can see, I have bucks to spend and potions to boosts. I have boosts to use. For what exactly? This thing. And I guess that thing too, because it's the upgraded version, so it has to be better. Right. Yeah. So, I've got enough for however many summons. Still on break, so I don't feel like doing math. Let's go! Highest thing was an epic. <laughs> this is still really anticlimactic. Oh, wow, they're all here, just like that. Okay, move on. Bam. Thurks. Okay, that's the 4%. Now we just need to get 10 times luckier, which may or may not happen. Damn it. Well, that was fun. Alright, but for the last four, I shall do it one, one at a time. Hello, people I already have and stopped using. Oh, that's not too bad. Well, bummer. The go-ahead to sell stuff I don't need? Alright, need to sell everything I already have, so bye bye woman. Don't worry, this isn't a you thing. I'll get rid of the men, too. Okay, you're staying. Alright, still got one of- Oh, you thought you were slick? You were not. Goodbye. Wow! Now I can throw out my money again! Alright! One more time. Bada- Frick. That's the next step. Well, before that, the ones that you've been hiding from me. Yes, gimme. It was only a matter of time before I empty my bank accounts. Oh, okay, that's good. Alright, ten at a time once again. Oh, and I am hoping for you. Alright, 1% chance. I got it. I think I'm that lucky. Okay, I think I will be lucky this time. Or one of these other times. Surely. Alright, one at a time, let's go. Hello, reindeer. It's unfortunate how much I ditched you. Thanks for the hug, I suppose. Alright, I can sell you at least. Gotta keep one. There we go. But not you, that's interesting. Fuck it, we ball. Oh, right, and I gotta get- Okay, then I'll open the things too. Well, either way, it's a new unit. Alright, I got the two. Very cool. If it's exclusive, I guess I'll not sell it. Sure. Oh gee, I wonder what's gonna come out of here. What? Firework cameraman? No way, I thought I was gonna get the... I was gonna say something. No, no, it's just a hug. Yeah. Okay, now I'll equip these. Nice. Instant cash. Okay, I'm broke. Now what? How interesting. Also, as I... You just saw, and... The Mythic. That was... Uh, this boy. Alright. Goodbye, reindeer. Alright, I got new units. Like Frost DJ Speaker Man. And I could tell right away in the second episode that it was OP. And I was right. Because I played that Christmas game mode quite a few times. Map, whatever. And I've been able to beat it with 14 of these and one Santa TV Man. Giver of presents. My present was this beast of a unit. It just has so much range and pretty good DPS. Only downside I can really think is that... Oh, shit. Oh, crap. It's a chunky boy. It might not look chunky now, but... Eventually it'll have gone to McDonald's a few times and gained a few pounds. And then also robbed a Best Buy. So you can't place too many of these guys right next to each other. But other than that, this just seems like the perfect unit. Because Reindeer Boy is $200 more, less DPS, less range. It can turn, but this thing 
does it need to turn? Because it's range ginormous. Nimitzaurus. Also, we're playing Nightmare. I did this a few times with KFC guy over there and one of his buddies. And we did pretty well. Only failed the first time because one of them messed up with their wall, I think. But it was light work because, well, this boy is putting in the work in the early waves as they were collecting money. And we shit on the shitters. It gives me a very hard to replicate joy. <laughs> you thought you were slick. No, you're still dead. Oh, uh, what did I just say? KFC to the rescue. Beat its ass. Oh, I thought something was playing. It is. It's the fury of the Titan Man. He was so mad he said, screw it. Gravity, I don't care about him. And started floating. What a lad. I aspire to be someone like him. I've been saved by him more times than I can count. On breaks, anyways. When I'm in college, though, that's a different story. It is time. You gonna fly away from me? I hope not. Tell him what you do. A bit underwhelming at first, but if I upgrade you it. Yeah, good point. Sorry to hear about that. I'll get you some friends soon. So uh, uh sorry, you're about to be deleted. <laughs> See ya. What's the plan B, Mr. KFC? All right, let's try it out. Well, that was a fun way to pass the time, but that's not gonna get us closer to our main goal. What you got? All right, show me the magic. Although I think on my part, I should have started saving up money earlier. It was too late when I needed, uh, what's his name, the most. <laughs> it doesn't even say, uh, thank you. I had to try. Would be neat if there was, okay, there, it probably exists, but a sniper, speaker, or camera person, which you could put up on a high ledge or roof somewhere, which would give them extra range so they can kill the abominations. That would make me happy. What's better than toilet deaths? Horrific ones. Uh, speaking of horrific, we're gonna abuse the crap out of you. You know, Christmas is over, but you gotta get started on next year. It's gonna come before you know it. In fact, it, it probably is the new year already. More of a reason not to slack off. You should have enough m Oh, okay, but you will soon. There we go. Thank you kindly. Hmm. I just had a thought. Well, too bad. You're dead and I'm still alive and talking. Okay, yeah, so I'll get you your help now. Like, it makes sense why the music would still be playing even when the DJ is asleep, because oh, the speakers are speaking. Because bro probably just has an iPod plugged in there, your computer, and that's what's playing the music, so him being asleep isn't gonna just pause the music. Do be funny to me though, because all of these annoyances that are in this bro's life don't stop the music, but of course it does stop the damage, which delays the inevitable demises of these horrent creatures. So that does suck too, but bro is still DJing. DJing? That. He's doing that. Sorry, bro. You're too fat. I know it helps you kill the bad men, but your health is important too. Almost as much as mine. Bro, can we afford to take this hit? Alright. We cannot, but thanks for reacting in time. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Like, the spot is fine, but a better spot is just have bro be a little bit behind where bro is now. Like here. Because now the line won't go halfway through the track that the toilets are gonna go down. Okay, I'll wait till you go by and then I'll correct this foolish mistake. No, there. That's better. Okay, this should work more. Oh, but you're still getting sleep deprived. I see. Well, that's a you issue. Oh, crap. When did I miss that? Sheesh. Even if the weather wasn't warm right now, we'd be skating on thin ice. It is time to remember what your name is. Get out there, you. Titan Cinema Man. Yeah, that was just double checking. Wait, I didn't notice that before. Minus a thousand? Am I being played? Oh, you changed your tune. Huh, that's weird. So are you an AOE unit now? <laughs> if only you weren't so strong, maybe I could tell. Oh yeah, you, are, are you? Please wake up, I wanna see your range. Okay, so it does become an AOE boy. Huh, oh, hello. But since you're a mythic, 
He might actually be stronger than DJ. It's an absurd thought. Yeah, I got nothing. Sometimes I can be witty, and sometimes I'm not. Oh yes, vacuums. That's really gonna help you as you get vaporized by heat waves. Let's make more heat. You're terrifying. I thought this said dead. Huh, oh, that's what you're gonna be. You mean it does throw the scythe? Okay, it doesn't. Do appreciate it using it though. Okay, we've reached max level. And at this point it has 15k DPS. Well, for us DJ Speakerman, 7500. That is a number that I just spoke with confidence and all my heart. Slightly less range, and yeah, it spins, but it do melt things twice as good. Okay, maybe you're worth it. You're still hella expensive though. Well, now that things are looking alright, I'm gonna show you some of the other units that KFC gifted me. So, there's this boy. I think I've seen him before. I thought it was a ninja, and maybe there is a ninja that looks similar to this. But this is Jetpack Cameraman. It's kind of strong. It's single target, but it has 10k DPS. And don't forget, boy over here. Okay, what well, that's AoE. But for uh, being a single target, it's okay. But it also costs the same as DJ, so I don't see myself using you that often. And this is Big Laser Boy. Pretty cheap for a big guy, I think. He lasers, although it's, I think it's single target attacks too. I don't think the laser does AoE damage. Might be wrong though. And it does the same DPS as this boy, the Frost. But of course, I think it just gets so classed in every way by the Speakerman, the DJ one. These names are gonna be a pain to remember. That's why I probably won't do that. I'll just remember it. the first words like, uh, there is Frost, but I'm gonna call you the DJ. And this is the Titan. Oh, uh, okay, well, this is Laser Man, Red Screen of Death Man. Yes, uh, still losing my mind. Oh, but this content gets views, so I'll put up with it. Oh no, <laughs> it's got the sky, it's trying to take my mind. Oh, you thought, I can see why this is nightmarish. Well, first, there's all these people towering over me, these equally terrifying contraptions. But also, my units keep getting stunlocked, and that's certainly the beest of all knees. But not quite as terrifying as you. Smooth? I see edges. You ain't slick. Idiot. What? Was that the trading plaza? I hope so. That would have been fun. The lobby just inexplicably changes while it was gone. Sucks because, as you can see, there's a lot of cores that can be parked here. And that might be a future video. And by might, I mean it will be. But when? Okay, where is KFC? Aha. I can't buy a daily squat with that. It is time for the grand finale. Coming to what, as far as you guys are concerned, based on the content on this channel. My third time attempting this? Wait, was it? I don't know. But I'm gonna show you how I was able to conquer it many times after. This is how I would start each match. Frost DJ Speakerman? It's... Okay, well I'm not death a kid. I think I can live with that. I try to get it as symmetrical as possible, but this whole map is a mess, so whatever. And then once wave 3 rolls around, I place down my third unit, and then place two of them, although it seems like three is good too, uh, however many. But I also found out that you can get away with placing one down, so I'm gonna do that. And then once you do that, make sure DJ is at level two, even though it doesn't have to be, but pretty soon you're gonna want him to be level three, because then you can take care of a very blue toilet. I think it's wave seven or six. That guy is pretty tough, and it might catch you by surprise. So you gotta make sure this guy is strong enough to take it down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's off. Nope. It's six, okay. And make sure you're skipping the waves too. KFC has them on auto skip. So if you're not playing with someone named KFC or anyone else for that matter, make sure you have it on so you can get extra cash quick because if we didn't do that, then we wouldn't have enough cash to Oh, but the toilet's going really slow, so maybe we would have enough. But either way, that's the only problem. All these other toilets are going to get massacred, even with a level 2. So it doesn't really matter. But just make sure it's level 3 by the time Bro shows up because... Wait. Oh, right. 
you have more health when there's more people. And that goes for most toilets. Okay, so in single player, everything I said would have been correct. But this is a bit different. Because the guys are buffed since there's more players, which is smart. And now, make sure it's level 4 by the time the mutants come out. Because they have about, yeah, both the same health. Oh, no, they don't. But they move faster, so you want this guy who does more damage and more quickly. I don't really know when you should upgrade this guy, whenever. I guess try to level it up alongside your DJ. Yeah, that makes sense. At some point soon, fast guys show up, at which point I put another one here as a second line of defense. But in this case, I didn't have to do that because Spooky Man. Yeah, that's the one. The flying buzzsaw. Oh lord, it's escaping. Boom. At this point, a huge power spike has been reached. It's gonna do a lot of good for you. But you're still gonna want more, because pretty soon it's gonna get overwhelmed. Although not in terms of the units having too much health, in terms of they're really annoying and they keep stunning the guys. So by doing this, you're kind of body blocking the stuns, making them get stunned, and whenever the toilets do the stunning, they stand still, which allows this guy to shred them without getting interrupted. Like that. Also, these mutant toilets come out and they're pretty thick, but we're chilling. You guys need to wear thicker clothes, I think. That would help with this parasite infestation that's happening in the winter. Really won the genetic lottery to be surviving out here. So as you can see, this is the death zone. A lot of stuff will get shredded here. You're gonna want to place even more of those people all around here, because there's no point placing units on this side of the map, or this side, if they're gonna end up converging in this one spot. You might as well hit them at that point. The other spots where I normally place the guys, uh, it's usually there. Here and then another right next to it, although I can't do that in this game. One there, here, there, at that spot. Precisely this location, approximately at that coordinate, specifically on that part of the ground. I'd estimate that space on this planet, and I've, I've run out of ideas. Exactly. Once these guys are all upgraded, we win. Also, these guys can help too, but if it weren't for them and you, they would have this in the bag. That's how OP you are. There we go. They're getting thick. Now is when you really see the might of the DJs and their absurd range. That's the thing I would nerf. It's just insanity. It gets 15 more range and then the area it covers isn't a half circle anymore, but of whatever shape this is, it's madness combat. With this, the other seven waves are as good as one. So, I'll cut back when things are a bit more interesting. Okay, it's time to spot the freaky guy. There he is. This is the boss. He clearly skips leg day, as you can see. He's black, but he also has glowy neon blue teeth and eyes. Kind of freaky. It's like he saw my channel's color scheme and thought, hmm, delicious. And then took a bite. Funny guy. Also got a hammer, which he slams on the ground. I haven't seen it do a whole lot. He's got a lot of health though. 6.68 million? Yes. But he's... <laughs> like I said, he, uh, he does skip leg day, so he's pretty slow. Oh, so he's got horns? Even though it's a skeleton? So they made a bone or something? But if they are, why aren't they black? Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Uh, fortunately, you're gonna die soon. And maybe in the afterlife you can try a bit harder to have anatomy that makes sense. Goofball. He didn't even make it past the melting zone. This guy outlived him. I just... Well, he's dead now. Bada boom. That's how you do it. Also with some help, but even if you don't have any, that's how you do it. That's gonna... Oh, hold on. One more? Okay. For the content and progress. Frick. Come on, man. I thought I was lucky. 43. Alright. Same wave, I completed my setup. Very interesting. Oh, would you look at that? That's a good way to end the episode. Finally, some good luck. And that's my progress so far, which was quite a lot, because now my collection is quite huge. Despite that, I'm still going to use the same few units in almost every match, because that's the kind of game this seems to be for now. I hope you all enjoyed, and as for the next videos, they'll be toilet related. But instead of the episodes, I'm going to do things my way. Some fun videos, one of which I already mentioned, so that and other things are on the way. So I hope you stick around to them, to, to my channel, 
yes, when they come out, so you can watch them because their videos I'm gonna have a bit more fun making. So, hope you enjoyed this video and stick around to see those ones whenever they come out. Bye bye.